And they're not done yet, Joe. The cyclists pedaling across the U.S. to raise funds and awareness for those who have served in post-9-11 wars. We cut off with the riders in Jackson today, just one of the many stops on their epic ride. They are strong. Going through Mojave at 120 degrees. Unified. I think it's giving people hope. And inspired. It's been a fantastic trip. Riders across America, an eight-member team of cyclists is going cross-country for a cause. Their goal is to raise $35,000 for Hope for the Warriors, a nonprofit charity that enhances the quality of life for post 9 11 service members. The injury could be physical or mental. Their families and families of the fallen. They began pedaling in California on June 4th. They've been going at least 100 miles a day. One day they did 155 miles in Colorado, south of, in the southern part of Colorado. Incredible. The group stopped in Jackson, Tennessee Wednesday on their way to Jacksonville, Florida by next Tuesday. This is my dream is to ride across the USA and I wanted to invite some friends to do it with me and do it for a great cause. Organizer Tracy Draper chose Hope for the Warriors because almost 90% of the money raised goes directly back to the veterans. I'm so happy I did it. We've seen so much America. It's a grueling schedule for this team with an average age of around 50 years old. But they'll keep riding through the 4th of July in honor of the men and women responsible for the true meaning of Independence Day. And their goal is to raise $35,000. You can actually track the riders on their GPS as they finish up their journey. Go to WMCActionNews5.com for that, as well as their blog and links to social media pages. Live in the newsroom, I'm Anna Marie Hartman, WMC Action News 5.